Hey, what's up? And welcome to my guide on Pokemon Mo breeding IV values. One of the most common questions that I get while playing Pokemon Mo is, why are you catching that specific Pokemon? And then I have to try to explain to that person that Diglett is a nearby field aid group Pokemon and getting a 31 IV in any of his stats means that I can sell him for Pokemon, which sometimes can be a lot for your average Pokemon player to wrap their head around, especially coming to Pokemon Mo which is its own game with its own rules and mechanics, separate from the original Pokemon games you might know and love. It can be overwhelming, and that's why I'm going to try to explain some of the finer details about this question and hopefully answer many more questions along the way. So why does every 31 IV have value in PokeMMO? In short, it's because the way the breeding system works, in PokeMMO, when you breed two Pokemon, it consumes both Pokemon in order to give you an egg. As to why the developers chose this system to be a very long video of its own, but in short, it's to preserve the economy. But by sacrificing both of your Pokemon alongside purchasing these items called braces, you're granted with a much more secured breeding system. Braces, as seen here, are purchasable at every day during the game by the NPC with the white and pink hat. Braces are a held item given to a Pokemon before you breed it to secure the IV to 100% pass to the Pokemon being bred. There's a bracer that correlates to each IV in each stat, so for example, power weight for HP, power bracer for attack, power belt for defense, power lens for special attack, power band for special defense, and power anklet for speed. So for example, if I were to put a power bracer on this Magikarp with 31 attack, and then a power anklet on this Dratini with 31 speed, and then I were to go talk to the old man and initiate a breed, It will end up as a Dratini with 31 attack and 31 speed. Two unanswered questions you might still have at this point are why does the new Pokemon come out as Dratini, and why can a Dratini and Magikarp breed together, or what decides what Pokemon can breed together. The reason why the Pokemon comes out as Dratini is very simple. It's because the Dratini is female, and the female Pokemon in the breed decides what the species will be. And what decides whether two Pokemon can breed together or not is whether they share an egg group. So as we can see in the Pokedex here, each Pokemon is assigned an egg group. Some even have two, just like this Dratini here. Dratini is in the Water A and Dragon egg group, and Magikarp is in the Water B and Dragon egg group. They don't need to share both egg groups to be able to breed, just one. Ditto is obviously the exception to this rule. He gets around and can breed with anyone he wants. So now that we covered the basics of breeding and why every 31 holds value, let me show you how to check how much every IV is worth. Due to the stability of the Pokemon Mo breeding economy, you can usually use the GTL to accurately price check whatever you may need when it comes to IVs. So let's say I was trying to sell this Wismer that's 1 times 31 speed in mail. First thing first, I need to check what A group Wismer is in by simply opening up his Pokedex by clicking there. He's in the monster in field A group as we can see. So now that I've found that out, I can go to the GTL, open up advanced search, change the gender to male change the minimum speed IV to 31, and then change the aid group to monster. Even though he has two aid groups, we're going to start with one because you can only search one at a time. And then sort by lowest price. As you can see, the Wisman would be worth around 10k if we were to sell it towards the monster aid group. Now let's check the field aid group. So let's do the same thing as before, all the same settings, but change the aid group to field and click search, sort by lowest price. So this is an inaccuracy, and this is good to catch live and so I can show this. So this one selling for 8k was just listed. This will probably sell very quickly, but the more accurate price is probably around 10 to 11k. As you can see, the sand shrew already sold. and It's important to be able to see like start date and price and come to an understanding and come to a summarization of whether that's an accurate price or not. It's important to check both aid groups because sometimes there will be a decent price change and it's important to sell it towards the aid group with the highest value. This video actually ended up being longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope it was helpful and please feel free to spam me with any questions in the comments. Also don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe for any more tips, and have a wonderful day, peace out.